A crash last night in Polk County has two families and several people grieving. The crash happened around 9.30 and killed two young people and injured one other. News Channel 9's John Madewell joins us now back from Ducktown. John, do we know what caused the crash yet? Well, Latricia and Kim, the Tennessee Highway Patrol is investigating, but already we know the driver ran off Highway 64 and overcorrected. The pickup truck flipped several times. Relatives describe 15-year-old Kristen Bray as a girl full of life and energy. This afternoon, her uncle walked through these weeds off Highway 64. The Toyota crashed here last night. I can't believe it. You know, she's going to be a marine biologist. Wanted to have, you know, family and kids. And you know, went to church and sweet as could be. You know. The crash killed her and her 19-year-old boyfriend, David Hall. Both were ejected along with Eric Dillard, who the Tennessee Highway Patrol says had been drinking. Now, this orange paint shows the severity of the crash. The THP reports the driver ran off the road, overcorrected, and flipped several times. The investigating trooper says no one was wearing their seatbelt. Danny Arp lives very close to the crash site. He heard the sirens and also the emergency traffic on his scanner. You can tell right now my eyes and everything, I hadn't had no sleep last night thinking about this. It really does hurt when you see young people like that and worry about their future. North and South Towing has the vehicle but says they won't show it because THP has it, quote, under hold. Meanwhile, Bray was an upcoming sophomore at Copper Basin High. Her principal told us, quote, Kristen was an exceptional young lady that was well liked by all of her peers and the faculty. Her presence and contributions to Copper Basin High School will be greatly missed. Everybody just loved her. I mean, the world's definitely lost an angel. It's indescribable. She's the sweetest of girls. Now, THP says the investigation is still ongoing, and they haven't yet confirmed who was driving the pickup. And at latest check, Eric Dillard is in fair condition. Kim? John, thank you very much.